Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is the CCM Axis compared to the Premier 2 pad video. These are vastly different pads. They're total changing philosophy of everything basically. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about what's the differences, what's similar. Um, obviously I haven't worn these so I can't talk about the playing of them, but I'll go over them the best I can. This is a 34-1, this is a 33-1, so they're not the same size, um, but I will say the premieres are do feel a bit more curved than the axes do. Um, maybe that's just because they're a, like been around in a store a while, so people bend them. Um, but I guess we should start with that right away. So the boot on the axis very soft. And you'll notice the boot on the premiere. I guess I'll turn it this way to make it even. Very soft. Feels very similar. Um, next is from here the like. So that's how it bends. It's stiff, but it, it definitely, you can definitely bend it and it would probably hold its shape pretty well. Line that out a bit. And this one feels like it bends here. Actually, sorry. This one feels like it bends more down here than it does um, the axis. But this one again, bends as well, but still a pretty stiff pad. Um, you can bend that and get your shape. Both of them come stock curved. They do, this does have an option to be straight. Um, but this one retail just stock this curve. Okay, so I'm trying something new with this camera angle. Ideally, I would have something kind of built overhead, but I don't have a jerry rig for that. So let me know what you think. Um, okay, this is the biggest departure of pad lines compared to, I would say, since the reactor and the vapor, <laughs> which was totally different. But the premier CCM no longer has a rounded medial roll pad, which was basically a staple in. Per CCM's lineup since, well, like the parent company, uh, since Coho, um, and now it's flat on the side. Um, so the rounded part meal roll is basically this right here. Now you can only get it at the Ferv, and I can't remember what model it is, so I'm not gonna say, I think it's the, I'm not gonna say because I will forget and get it wrong. Um, CCM's now full flat. Most, like basically every pad like this is now flat. Um, I believe this leads to better sliding. Originally, people said this is better sliding because less of um, like the, there's less surface area for friction, so it will slide better. But again, friction, if you use the mathematical formula for friction, surface area doesn't matter. Um, so I'm going to go by science and I'm going to go by math unless someone can physically prove me otherwise. These slid awful, they were terrible. I think one of the reasons too is because this is soft. So when you'd actually like push down on it, it would kind of like give. Um, and with the speed skin, it just did not work at all. It was the worst sliding pads I've ever worn. Really curious to see how these work. Um, yeah, I was super disappointed in those. So anyways, with that said, the one thing that these did really well though was eat up pucks. So I found because they were rounded, they almost like stuck out a little bit more, but also because they were rounded, pucks would kind of hit it and kind of just stick in them. And I find more pucks would hit it and it kind of stay compared to a flat one, which might skid through. Um, there's a couple times when I wore these where a puck should have gone in, hit my thigh rise and should have totally gone in. Like it wasn't on the ice and just like sucked into it and didn't move. So it's pretty interesting. Um, anyways, that's gone. This is the biggest change on this pad by far is this right here. Yeah. So here's the tops, totally different design. No more binding at the top. Um, it's all kind of one piece there. And Definitely thinner than the old Premier pad, um, but I think a lot of the thickness of the Premier pad was this roll itself and not actually the pad. Because when you flip it over, this part is thicker than the pad itself, like right here. So I think it's a little bit misleading in how thick these were, um, but I mean, it's kind of what it is. Uh, roll, one piece stock, right below. The big change is the lack of the bindings to the face. So this is a bindingless design, like most pads nowadays. Um, so CCM went there. The other thing is the max core rebound, this thing. I think this one was just max rebound, I can't remember. And I had a little, the little foam. I think the foam was softer. Um, like when I press that, does it feel any different? This, yeah, so the Premier definitely feels softer to the hand, like when you indent it like this, than the Axis does. The Axis definitely feels stiffer in that regards. Um, I think a stiff, Base is how you get rebounds and the soft foam put by pumping pucks out through a doesn't work. Um, there's a reason why the hard face pads like Bauer, Brian's, Brian's Optic specifically have, and like Warrior have bigger rebounds than anything else is because the foam doesn't have give and it just kind of goes. Um, so 
I think that should be better than what is on the previous one. Another spot to look at, and I guess we'll switch this around to make it look right next to each other, is the difference in the kind of binding. So you just have nylon all throughout, where this is now basically speed skin on the outside all the way through. You can see that. Um, thickness, again, I still think these are pretty uh, like the same, and the difference is the roll itself. Um, and the, where this binding is, this binding is also kind of misleading. So I don't think it's a huge like a way, move away from that. You put them next to each other. It's a little bit, but it's not huge here. This isn't like the skinniest pad on the market, but I mean, it is what it is. So we'll talk about kind of the strapping. And so let me switch these around again. So they definitely increase the size of the wing right here. As you can see, the old one was smaller. So I'm a fan of that. I didn't like, this was kind of felt chintzy to me and it kind of didn't, I didn't like how it wasn't like really centered. This one's more centered. Um, even if I moved it up because it was so small, it just didn't feel as good. Maybe it was all in my head, but it is what it is. So strapping is like the same. Um, you have your outer strap, which both of these have. You remove that and you have your quick motion. This one is called quick motion. They're both the same design idea. Um, so here's your quick motion strap. The one thing is this one came out. So you could remove it and change how long that was. This is now just an adjustable elastic. So it's not just like this tiny piece that comes out, it's now an adjustable elastic. This one I think is closer to what the E-Flex 4 was, um, but this is kind of a pretty same design. Um, the one thing that is different is that this has another, like this piece right in here where the old one did not. So it was just on this outer wrap um, because honestly this outer wrap, like this piece is now straight, straight here. So it did need something. So actually it was this piece. This piece is the new one. Sorry, I got that wrong. This piece is the new one compared to, um, like there was nothing here. It was actually attached on the outside of here. So that is the one difference. Um, this is really similar to an E-Flex, so you can put it that way. The other thing I want to show off, and I'll put these right next to each other to kind of show it, is the difference in, let open this, and how these pillows were made, or how this the inside edge was made. So this is a huge change from on CCM, Premier kind of always had these giant wraps. This is kind of going to a more Bauer Vapor-esque or vape design-ish thing. So you had this one wrap, then you had this other wrap, and then you had your, like your landing edge and you had this piece of foam right here, this hard foam, which was your landing edge. It was a little bit angled, um, so it wasn't totally flat. Pretty stiff. Um, yeah, so pretty stiff. And this is all new, this is totally gone. So what you have now is you have your one wedge. Come on, you have the one wedge here, which it takes over like basically all this piece right here. And you now have the thickness kind of right there. Um, I didn't, yeah, so you have the thickness right there. Then you have that one inner cap and that's it. Um, so this is all gone. When I wore these, I never noticed this thick piece doing anything. Um, it was kind of just the stabilizer. It didn't feel like it was an extra pillow. I always, when I talk about that, I kind of want to compare it to um, the Brian's Optic because they have a pillow, a cap pillow, and it kind of pushes the pad down. It feels like it's cheating. Never felt that once on this one. With this, when I wore this for the chest protector coverage video, um, I felt this on the my calf and I felt it pushing down or kind of like resisting my calf. So I'm really curious to see how this plays and if this does act as the pillow like I think it will and it will kind of push this calf down. Pretty interesting design. I like the way CCM is going with it. Um, overall, I think CCM made some solid improvements with this pad. I think the graphics are terrible, but whatever. I think eventually they're going to go full graphic without this extra like stitching, just because it's, it's honestly cheaper and probably easier to make. Um, so I think that's going to go down their line. This is kind of them kind of leading into it. Remember I called this, they did kind of similar little lines on the E-Flex 4 and I said, I bet you that's for graphic printing on the next one. Graphic printing. Um, CCM did a pretty good job of using, like, well, it doesn't show in this, the pad that much. I still think they could have utilized their player line of gear more. Like this is just normal foams. They could have gone to like their U-Foam for this, but it's not bad. I, I think this is a definitely, a def, Sorry, this is definitely a step in the right direction compared to the Premier 2 um, and the E-Flex 4 by all means. 
this is a more modern pad. You can see the boot. Actually, this is another pretty big thing. Is the boot is like this one did kind of have a shallow piece to it. It's just totally flat now. Um, so that boot will look really similar to uh, the Ferve boot. So I'm curious to see how those two pads, the Lefer, I think it's the 20.1 and this, like how close they are together. Uh, Cause there does seem to be a lot of similarities, but the boot is also one of the big differences. Um, but I think he did a decent job of moving forward on these. I don't know if these are amazing. I would love to get them on the ice and try them, but um, they're definitely a step in the right direction. And I'm, I'm really, put it this way, I'm really excited about the chest and what they did some things on the chest. So make sure you check that video out. So, because I think CCM did a semi-decent job here. Um, and it's kind of interesting in that regard. Other thing too is seal. So the seal on both of these pads is really good. Excellent on both. This, like I said, this pad with the rounded edge, I found pucks kind of just stuck on it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Remember, I have a video where I talk about the Axis pads more. Um, and kind of the whole view of them, what I think of them, and not just comparing to this. I'll have a video on the gloves. I'll have a video on um, the chest protector. So check all that out. I'll have a ton of stuff and I'll do like chest comparisons on each.